Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat. I want to take a second here to read this tweet from Jeremy Boring over at the Daily Wire. It says, People who deny the moon landing or suggest America is evil for its use of atomic weapons against Imperial Japan or who say that George Bush was behind 9-11 actually hate this country. This statement actually makes me angry. I, I can't believe that anybody would honestly say that or believe this. And I'm going to get into why I feel that way coming up in just a second, so stick around. Thanks for sticking with us. So before we get too far, I want you to go through this with me bit by bit, because I think that you'll agree with me and I think I know another group of people would probably agree with what I'm saying here if they were still alive today. The people that signed the Declaration of Independence. Um, to say that you shouldn't question things, that you shouldn't question your government on anything is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, what are we? Do we live in North Korea here? This is America. It kind of makes me think of uh, something that's been said a lot about China in trying to get the Chinese people, I guess, to turn against their government. And, of course, the Chinese government has been quite upset about this over time. And now I, I thanks to this tweet from Jeremy Boring, see this in a different light. They, uh, they often say that the, there's a difference between the Chinese people and the Chinese government. And what the Chinese government says is, oh, quit trying to separate us or drive a, you know, a divide between us and our people. I look at this and I say now, I know a place where that's actually true. The United States of America. There's a big difference between the people and the government. In fact, the government, as far as I thought, they work for the American people. So how dare the government or anyone associated with it tell me what I can and cannot question? If you want to question the moon landing, you're more than welcome to. Look at the evidence. I invite you to look at the evidence and decide for yourself. I believe that we did go to the moon. I think there's plenty of evidence for that. I mean, you can ask the Chinese if they saw some of our stuff when they went up there. But uh, that's beside the point. You have a right to question whatever you want, to think whatever you want, and believe whatever you want. I that 9-11, as far as I'm concerned, that is not a sacred place. That's not something that cannot be questioned. And I have hated it every time I've heard someone say, you cannot question it. Why not? George Bush, people that say George Bush is behind 9-11, you mean the same guy that said that we had to invade Iraq because of weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist? The same guy that for the first time, I guess at least as far as we're willing to admit, decided to invade a country that hadn't done anything to us at all? Think about it. I know people will say things like that because I bought into it too. Iraq, oh, there, you know, the Saddam Hussein is like killing people and doing all this stuff. Is Iraq a better place today than it was when we went in there? Is it better today? Did all of those American lives that we sacrificed and Iraqi lives, was, did that make it better? Did we really make a difference there? We invaded because of a lie. And I, I can honestly tell you, I have no idea why we invaded Iraq. Was it because of oil? I think that uh, Donald Trump, of course, admitted it was because of the oil, um, th th which we apparently don't use now. But um, wow, you know, to say that I, if you're telling me that I shouldn't question something, that's exactly what I'm going to be questioning. Um, I, I don't know that uh, the United States government put people in planes or had drone planes or anything to fly into the buildings. But um, I don't know. I'm going to be questioned a lot. George Bush is someone that I, I certainly don't want to hold up as someone that shouldn't be questioned. I'm going to be questioning anything that he's associated with. Yeah, sure, now he's a favorite of the left and people at high levels. But guess what? For those of us at the bottom, we've, we've had to suffer a lot as a result of that guy. I mean... Every time I go to the airport and I have to take off my shoes and my belt and everything else and I have to go through the huge security line, I remember George Bush because things have not gotten better. And uh, I, I really hate that. Anyone that would tell you not to question things. You should question everything. You should question everything the government does because that's the only way that there's going to be accountability. That government works for you. When George Bush was president, guess what? George Bush worked for you. 
not the other way around. And we can question anything we want, even the moon, even 9-11, whatever it is. And that doesn't mean you hate this country. Because if you want to say that questioning those things means you hate this country, then so did the guys that signed the Declaration of Independence. And you can't tell me that they hated this country. Jeremy Boring, and, the, the, you know, I'm going to say it. I, I never signed up for the, the Daily Wire. I, I don't consume their stuff. And I'm really glad that I don't at this point, and I've never given any support to them at all, other than maybe a couple of times when the videos come up at the end of another video. And I'm never going to watch their stuff. I, you know, I, I don't care. This is the leader of this, uh, this company. They fire people for questioning things, and now they come out here and tell you that you hate America if you question things. Well, I'm going to question you. <laughs> Do you work for the government? Is that what this is? Where did you guys come from? Has anybody even looked into the background of this? The Daily Wire just suddenly came out of nowhere. And, um, okay, are you guys, like, working for George Bush or something? Is that why we can't question these things? As far as um, the bombing of Japan, guess what? War itself is immoral. War is evil. Killing people is evil. Um, but at least back then... We had, uh, you know, we were attacked first. That's what made it like, okay, well, we were in the war. We have to win the war. Fine. It doesn't make it a good thing. It doesn't make it not evil. War is evil. War is immoral. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But if somebody's questioning that and saying that war is evil, that doesn't make them hate America. Give me a break. It's terrible that people had to be put in positions where they had to do those kinds of things. Uh, let's hope that we don't have to put people in positions like that again. Let's hope. And definitely question everything. Question everything as a principle, because it is, like, fundamental to being an American, to question everything. I'll leave it at that. I've, uh, yeah, there's a lot of emotion tied up to, to this one. Ah, question everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. ไปพวงลงเฝ้าเฝ้าเจ้าบางกงหางไว้งงลงเกอเออหาโอเวนคำจำพระกาไปไกลตา